really sure what time uh, period, but people started making skates out of carbon. And, um, you know, it's not usually a full carbon. It's usually just the bottom of the skate that's carbon. Um, what carbon does is it makes it really light and it makes it a nice material that you can mold a shape without having any flexibility. Um, I actually have a carbon skate. My Sebas, so these Seba CJs are a carbon skate. Um, you can see the back, this is the carbon um, and it wraps from this back to the side around the toe. So this whole area is carbon. Um, what's interesting about these skates is that they are super stiff. Um, so these skates um, will not flex. If you're trying to do, if you're skating aggressive, if you're trying to do topside tricks and you get a little bit of flex, um, you know, when you're trying to land topside and you want to push down a little bit to flex, you're not going to get that on these skates. They're going to be extremely solid. And that's a great thing if you're going to skate big wheels or if you want to skate, um, you know, something that's a little more responsive, especially if you're skating a bowl or if you're skating uh, transitions. I really love these skates for those. The alternative is an all plastic boot, something like something like the them skate. So these are uh, all plastic. They're more flexible. They're not going to be as responsive as the carbon boots. Um, but they're also not going to be as expensive. The expense is the real difference. So a carbon boot, you're going to add about a hundred bucks or so to the total price. Um, I don't know that it's worth it. I think that you have to really decide what you're skating. Um, for me, I love the feeling of carbon uh, when I'm skating big wheels. It's because the big wheels, because the ride height is so much taller, I want to make the uh, connection between my wheels and my foot as little as possible. So with these Seba, um, because the carbon's there, I've actually taken off the sole plate and I've gone directly into the carbon with these frames. So the distance, I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but the distance between the wheels and the boots, my foot is you know, only like five millimeters underneath this bottom of the boot. Um, which makes the, the top of the wheel maybe 10 millimeters from the, the wheel itself. That's an amazing feeling. And I can definitely feel the difference between skating these with a carbon versus skating them with a rollerblade new jack, which is what I skated them with before. The multiple levels of abstraction from where the frame actually mounts uh, makes a huge difference when you have a taller ride height. My recommendation is if you're going to skate bigger wheels, you should probably get a carbon boot. Um, I think that the responsiveness will pay off. It is going to be more expensive, but if you want the best of the best, a carbon boot with a big wheel setup is the way to go. If you're going to be skating aggressive, anything 60 millimeters, 65 millimeters or lower, um, I think you're probably wasting your money with a carbon boot. I think that it's a great setup, but the addition that you're going to get with the carbon you're going to lose from the ability to do topside tricks and such um, a little easier. And it's a lot of money. You're probably not going to tell the difference. 